What's up, bitches? It's No Joe Cow. We're coming at y'all motherfuckers live from Otris Beach here, just outside of Seeing Oakville, Cambodia. What's up, y'all? So I've got my, I've got an email. The title of the email is Seasonal Depression Advice. All right. What am I? What am I? A fucking uh, psychologist now? Uh. <coughs> Guys, in the last couple videos I made, the last couple ones I put up from this beach, you guys will notice, man. I have a cold, so sorry for the cough. Sorry, sorry, sorry if I have like an, like my voice sounds kind of annoying, man. But I've had this cold for like a week now. It's really starting to ho hopefully it's starting to wear off, man, because it's kind of annoying. Anyways, it's from Vincent Milo, Vincent Milo. I'm not sure how to say it. Hi, no joke. Now I don't normally read long ass emails, but this one was all right. Hi, no joke. I would like to thank you for showing a lot of people that there is hope in humans wherever we may all come from, and that happiness can be found if one just goes out and looks to find it oneself. You took a chance and seemed to have found what you were looking for. That is very admirable. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. I was wondering, my friend, if you had any advice on things like seasonal depression or just depression as a whole. Well, maybe I do. Maybe I don't. As you know, out here in the U.S., fall, autumn is right around the corner. And it's during these times that people seem to go with the weather. A lot of us walk around beneath dark clouds and we... Uh, all do not have the tools nor coping mechanisms to get through these times. So yeah, I apologize for the long email, but I was wondering if you had any advice on dealing with setbacks or dealing with, oh, setbacks, huh? Dealing with constant criti uh, criticism from within and from the outside, like people and others looking down at you. Thanks again, no joke. You are an inspiration to many, even if you not, uh, e sorry, even if you may not be fully aware of that. Oh man, thank you guys. That's all I ever wanted to do was fucking help people, man. I just wanted some good friends. I just want to help people and make people happy and laugh, man. That's, that's, you know, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to get better at it. So, do I do I have any advice on things like seasonal depression? Well, not really. Not really, because, like, I'm from Virginia, and I'm from the mountains, man. So, when it was winter, it was winter. It was winter. It was ice. We had ice storms, unforgiving ice storms. In fact, the night... The night that I was being driven to the airport to fly to Thailand, and then like I started my life here in Asia, that night before I got to the airport, there was an ice storm. So my brother and I were driving my my pickup truck over the Appalachian Mountains, right right over the Appalachian Trail, right there in uh, right there in Virginia, um, on the Clark County Loudoun County border on Route Seven. In, ca in case you guys live out there, you might you might know. And um, there was an ice storm, man. So yeah, man. And I. It, it never depressed me. In fact, I always like fall. In fact, my favorite season is fall. I like dark skies, and I like when the trees change colors. It doesn't make me depressed. I live here in Cambodia where it's warm and sunny all the fucking time, and I get depressed all the time. I mean, so weather doesn't affect my, my mood, really. Like, it's kind of a cloudy day out today. If you guys notice, it, it, notice it's very overcast, and I feel, I feel damn peachy today, so... Um, I don't I don't really have much to say about seasonal depression, man. I think I think you just need to stop being a little bitch I, ha I actually have a friend here. Um, I'm not gonna say her name I'm not gonna say her name. She might not want me to do that, but um, She's from Siberia, which is you know, that's like like the Asian part of Russia That's like like 80% of Russia is, is Siberia in case y'all didn't know and she was talking to me this morning about like uh, how for most of the year or 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 for like a good part of the year it's like uh it's like um mostly uh dark outside it's mostly dark outside because it's because it's usually winter she said like nine months out of the year and that people do get depressed and and it's very tough like life is hard up there because of the weather so uh but she seems to be doing all right you know i mean i don't know guys like i i don't really have much to say about seasonal depression like i the the weather doesn't dictate how i feel what dictates how I feel is how I feel inside. So I'm gonna speak on that next. You know, uh, it's during these times that people sing blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I, how to, what, dealing with setbacks. Yeah, setbacks. Let me talk about that real quick. Now, if anybody has accomplished anything in their lives, whether it's putting out an album, like, like, like a music album, whether it's writing a book, whether it's starting a business, whether it's moving to another country and starting a new life you guys have had setbacks a setback is like a pothole in the road you know a setback is when your shit gets fucked up and then it takes you longer to achieve your goal 
And anybody who's achieved a goal that they truly wanted most likely has faced adversity. <coughs> Sorry, God. Damn, man. <clears throat> most likely has faced adversity and um, had to deal with setbacks. So, like, like with my business right now, I I operate my business out of uh, out of a home here in Phnom Penh, in which I live with other people, and um, everybody that I lived with moved out moved out because they didn't want to live there anymore for various reasons and I'm struggling now to find people to live there um, you know like get a new roommate um, I'll, there's some people that aren't, aren't gonna want to live with me just just because they know who I am and there's some people that will want to live with me just because they know who I am or they just want to live in a cool house man so um, I, I would say that setbacks are setbacks are, are, are a test if you are trying to achieve any goal, you will face setbacks. You will be disappointed. You will have things get in your way of you achieving your true goals. And you guys have to understand this. All right? Anything anything worth having comes with a price to pay. It comes with adversity. All right? I digress. And dealing with constant criticisms from within and the outside. Yeah. Like I was saying, it, it, it's, it's not like the weather that makes me depressed. It's not other people necessarily that make me depressed. It's not even setbacks. It's not even adversity that makes me depressed. Oftentimes, I just have a bad attitude towards myself. And that's fucked up, man. You know? Like, I was talking to some friends the other night, and, and, and you know, they were telling me that, that a lot of times I seem to make myself seem like less good than I am. And I'm, I'm, I'm fucking awesome, guys, because... If I think about everything I've done here in Phnom Penh, and just not just that, but just my life, dude, I am awesome. Like on paper, like if you write all the cool shit I've done, all the cool shit I've accomplished and all the things I've experienced on paper, dude, my life is great. I moved here, I, ba I, I barely struggled. AK, hey, wanna say hi? Hello. Hello, say hi to the world. Yeah, say hello. What's up? I don't want a bracelet. Man, these little, these little damn girls have been asking me for a bracelet. AK? Okay. If you guys if you guys come to see Nokeville, if you guys go to any beach town in Cambodia, you're gonna get a whole bunch of this right here. Masa, masa, bracelet. Masa, masa, bracelet. Huh? Huh? So I've been having to tell, <laughs> I've been having to tell motherfuckers all day long. I chong, I chong. I don't want a massage. I don't want a damn bracelet. I don't want your services. I want to be left alone. I want to chill with my friends. I digress. I digress. The hell was I even talking about, man? Um, yeah, so like, my life is great, guys. So, always, always think of the, the the cool shit that you've done. Whenever you start to doubt yourself, whenever you start to doubt yourself, man, always remember what you have accomplished. And you know, I'm 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 about to turn 28 years old, and I've already done this much in my life. I moved to Phnom Penh, not knowing a single fucking person. I barely struggled, really. I mean, yeah, I had my bouts with depression, but. Looking back on it, I, I had no reason to be depressed. <laughs> I have back there, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have some of my good friends back there. I've got my mother here. My mother's here with me. And we're both having a good time. We're all having a good time here, man. I mean, I wanted to start a business, a personal training business. That's that's what I do. I I never thought I'd start a YouTube channel, but I have, and it's turned it's worked out very well for me. I have one of the most popular up and coming channels based out of this section of the entire fucking world. So that's something I'm proud of, man. And really proud of. And I, I, I met a lot of cool fucking people, man. I'm very thankful for that. I wanted to move here and train uh, kickboxing and be a, be, a, be a fighter. Guess what? I'm an undefeated kickboxer. Granted, I injured myself and I don't fight anymore, but it's something I accomplished. I accomplished my fucking goal, man, and I'm undefeated and I'm very happy about that. And now I now I teach people how to fight. I teach people how to be fit. And I'm very good at what I do. And I make money at it. I'm 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 good, man. So I have no reason to be depressed, guys. Listen, I'm gonna wait till these people pass. Whenever you guys doubt yourself, man. Especially if you guys have especially if y'all have friends, man. You guys have family, man, that, that, that cares about y'all. Doubting yourself is the is the most unproductive thing that you can ever do in your life. Let me check my time. I'm about 10 minutes, so I'm about to wrap this shit up. Doubting yourself is the most unproductive attitude or a most unproductive thought pattern you can have ever, ever. 
because if you doubt yourself, dude, you're never gonna accomplish shit. You're always just gonna say, oh, well, I can't do this because this, because this and that, because this and that, blah, 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 blah. It's all fucking bullshit, man. Every time I doubt myself, I have to, I have to sit down and think about what have I done? Think about the good shit I've done and always remember, man, fuck everybody else, man. Do it for you. Do it, do it for the people you love. Do it for the people that care about you and that, that you care about, man. So doubting yourself is fucking retarded. <coughs> I do it sometimes. I do it sometimes. But I always have to remind myself what I've done and what I know I can do, man. And if you guys ever need more advice, just shoot me an email. If you guys want more motivational videos, if you guys want me to cuss and yell at you more to get you out of bed. All right, guys. Stop being a little bitch. Stop being a little bitch. A little bitch. Achieve your fucking dreams, man. Save up your damn money. Quit, quit, quit making fucking excuses all the damn time. All right? I used to do that. I used to make excuses, put these limitations on myself. And then I just had the mindset, you know what, man? Fuck this life. I'm moving to Asia. I'm going to be a pro fighter. I'm going to start a business. I'm going to make some cool friends and be fucking awesome. And that's what I'm doing, man. So if y'all want some more, shoot me an email. No joke striking at gmail.com, bitches. Bitches. I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching, man. Peace.